we're gonna convert this into this in this blender realistic texturing series so in this blender bump map tutorial we will create these fine details we will learn what is a bump map how to create it and how to use bump map in blender watch till the end for all the tips so what is a bump map a black and white bump map which we are gonna be using is a grayscale image which is used to create an illusion of a bumpy surface. This map adds bumps, wrinkles or details to the surface of the object. By looking at this example, you can see how light interacts differently with the surface. The bump map contains all range of gray shades ranging from pure white to pure black which decides the height of the surface. The pure black represents the minimum height of the surface and pure white represents the maximum height of the surface. For example, if the color is pure black, that area of the surface will look depressed. And if the color is pure white, that area of the surface will look raised. You can understand this more clearly by looking at this example. As the color changes from pure black to pure white, the surface slowly looks like it's raising up and vice versa. You can really add very fine details on the object to add realism which would be nearly impossible task if you were to model each and every small detail. And bump maps are efficient to use. They do not affect the performance that much. That's why they are used everywhere in the games as well where everything is rendered in real time. They are used for creating bumpy surfaces, walls, designs, cloth wrinkles, skin, you name it. But, a limitation of the bump map is that it's an illusion. That means it only creates an illusion of a bumpy surface. It does not affect the shape of the object. Means it does not modify the geometry. If you look closely at the sealout or the shadow of this object from the first slide, you can see that it's perfectly smooth. It doesn't look bumpy at all. Because the shape hasn't modified. But how to create a bump map? First, we will open the texture we want to use in Photoshop. And as we have learned earlier, we know that it is a grayscale image. So we need to convert this image to grayscale first. For that, go into Image, Mode, Grayscale. This will convert the image from RGB to black and white. Next, we will need to add contrast to this image. And we are gonna be doing that by adjusting levels by going into Image, adjustments levels or by pressing ctrl plus l but a better way to do that is to create an adjustment layer to do that click this icon right here and select levels so the color data will also be preserved then adjust the contrast according to how much detail we want remember this do not overdo it pay attention to the smaller details because we don't want to miss it we are adding subtle contrast here. And a cool thing about using adjustment layer is that you can readjust it later if you want without loss of any color information. So now the bump map is ready. Let's see how to use it inside Blender. We will delete the cube and add in a plane and scale it up. Now let's create a new material for this plane first. Now open up the shader editor. I will split the window and select shader editor now let's add the image texture to this plane and i will select this diffuse texture which we saw earlier connect that to the base color let's see how it looks the texture looks squeezed because the texture wasn't square and our plane is every texture should be square texture if you want to use it in any 3d application but in our case, we want it to be rectangular. We will scale the plane on the x-axis. Now you can adjust this approximately. Or to be perfectly accurate, you can type in the dimensions of the image in the scale toolbox by pressing N. The texture looks good now. Let's see how it looks in the rendered mode. Most of the beginners make this mistake. They apply the image texture adjust the roughness a bit and that's it nothing is more noticeable now but you see if i move the light closer to the plane it just looks like the texture has been just 
glued to the surface. So let's change that. Proper lighting is important for the bump maps. So let me adjust the wall color a bit. I don't want it to be too bright for this scene. So now we have set the proper environment for the scene. Let's finally apply the bump mapping. Let's load the bump map in the blender by selecting texture, image texture and open it. The bump maps are always connected to the normal input. So let's connect it. And that is not what we expected it to look like. And it's because the color output of the bump map is connected directly with the normal input of the shader. We need to add another node in between and that is a bump node. We're gonna do that by going into vector bump. The color output will be connected to the height input and this normal will be connected to this normal. But wait, we're not done yet. Really important tip, while using bump maps, always set the color space to non-color data for accurate results. But this surface looks kinda ugly because the strength is too high. You can adjust the strength by adjusting this slider and we just want fine details on this surface. So I won't increase it too much. You can see the surface looks more believable now. In the next part, we will create and use displacement map to really make it look realistic by adding large scale details. So click this video right here.